I'm Pam with PJ's Glass Creations, and are you thinking about Thanksgiving yet? If so, you might want to consider making this adorable little bobblehead. He's made out of fused glass, and if you can see there, his head bobbles a little bit. It's separate from his body. So if this is something you think you'd like to make, join me for this free tutorial. Before assembling this turkey, you will have to cut out all of the pieces. You will find this pattern in the description of this video on the homepage, and um, they're all labeled for you. All you have to do is cut them out. They already have the right colors for you. And as you can see here, I already have them cut out to show you how to put this together. And we're gonna work on the head first. First thing you need to do is put his cheeks on and I am using a super glue. It's a Gorilla Super Glue. Any super glue will work. You can use glass tack, you can use Elmer's glue. Just use glue very sparingly. And if you do use super glue, don't use a gel. I found that it leaves a mark. So, here are his cheeks. And we're going to put his eyes on. They're rather big eyes. He's um, kind of a goofy looking turkey. Next, we're going to put his eyelids on. And when you do this, make sure that you have enough overlap over in this area so that when it melts down, it kind of melts down around that eye. And finally, his beak. You can see it goes together rather quickly. Now he's going to have a few little tufts of, I guess they're feathers, not hair, sticking out of the top of his head. And so to do this, I'm just using some scrap brown and if you keep your nippers parallel to the edge, you get some nice long shapes. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. And let's see, we'll put one that way. Maybe one that way. And we'll put that one in the middle. So there's his crazy wonky feathers on the top. And down the center of his beak, just to give it some dimension, I have this little one millimeter um, stringer. I am just putting it right down the middle And then the other thing we need to do is add the wattle. I think that's what it's called. And that's that little red piece that you'll see coming down the face of a, of a turkey. And I'm just using, again, my nippers to make kind of an irregular long shape. I think that'll be good. I'm going to glue that on. And then for the next part of his face, the eyeballs, he needs some um, pupils. So I am using a, um, an enamel. This is an easy fire enamel that I got from AAE Glass. There are lots of different enamels out there. Just find one that you like. You can use glass lined paint. If you don't have any enamels, you can also use just a piece of glass, a little nugget that you've made maybe. And I'm making him a little cross-eyed. Again, this is a little bit of a goofy, uh, goofy turkey. And 
And if they're not exactly the same size, we can alter this a little bit after it's dried. So don't be too worried about it being perfect yet. And the last thing we're doing for his face, I have this dotting tool and I'm going to put some little nostrils on his beak here. Ooh, I got one bigger than the other. And I'm gonna put this in the oven at 170 degrees for about 10 minutes for it to dry, for the enamel to dry. And in the meantime, I will show you how to uh, do the body. The body is actually pretty simple. We aren't doing anything to it except adding some wings. So for the wings, I'm cutting some pretty long pieces. Again, using that same method of just going parallel to the glass. And we'll see if that's enough. And I don't like that totally straight edge on that one. There we go. That one needs to be a little bit smaller. You're gonna try to make your wings approximately the same size. But all you are doing is adding scraps where the wing should be. That looks pretty good to start. And then we're just going to add a couple of pieces up on top. And you're gonna just keep adding pieces until you like the look of it. And there you have his wings. That's all you need to do for the body. Next, we're going to work on the feathers. These will be in the background behind the body. And these, I have a one and a quarter inch by four inch strip. I ha do have a variety of fall colors and I um, have nine of them. And what I'm going to do is use my nippers and kind of just make a feathered shape. You might want to wear safety glasses while you're doing these. I have glasses on, so I'm uh, not too worried about it. And you can see that I am chewing up the outer edges of my feathers as well. So I have this nice feather shape here. And I'm gonna do that with all nine of them. I have all my feathers done and I need to arrange them. I think I'm going to do a dry run first just to make sure that I have them like I like them, that they're all gonna fit together properly. And I'm gonna start with these and I have 
uh, I'm gonna put one orange one in the middle. And then I think I'm going to do orange and red in between these yellows. And a red and an orange here. And if they're not fitting together, like this is just too fat here, I can't get them to fit together. Just cut it off. It's not gonna show, it's gonna be behind his body. And this is why we do a dry run first. Okay, I think that's gonna work. So, without moving them too much, I want to glue them. Cut one more piece off that one. Okay, so now we have a nice fan of feathers. I'm gonna make sure they're all glued. And we're going to put his body on top of that, but before we do that, I need to put a wire in here because this wire is going to go into a wood base. and it'll hold it secure into that base. So I'm gonna put my wire, and I'm going to glue his body right on top of this. I think about right there. And then, I almost forgot, the other thing we need to do is put, I have a three inch wire here. This three inch wire is going to go on top of this feather. So it is sandwiched between the feather and his head. And this is what's going to hold his head on. And it'll look kind of funny right now because what you will end up doing is putting his head way up here. I'm gonna move this down a little. I'm afraid I'm probably out of out of the camera viewing area. I'll move the camera. I have a one inch by one half inch piece of clear here. This is going to be attaching to his head, but this part of the wire, I do not want to attach to his head. So I'm gonna put the smallest dot of glue just to hold some thin fire paper there. And I don't want it to glue to my paper I have down below. And then this clear piece 
is going to be about where his eyeballs are, actually kind of in his head, kind of right about between his nose and his eyeballs or his beak and his eyeballs. So I'm going to put some glue on that and center his head so that it's, again, it's about right here. And this will make more sense when we bend the wires so that he actually becomes a bobblehead. But for now, I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then um, we'll put it in the kiln for a tack fuse and then I'll show you how to bend the wires so that it makes a bobblehead. Look how cute my bobblehead came out. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually move his head down in the, into the proper position. And to do that, the first thing we're going to do is fold his head forward. So he's kind of folded in half. And you can see here that this wire did not attach right here, which is where our paper was that was acting as a barrier. Next thing we're going to do is fold his head back up and you do need to be kind of careful while you're doing all this bending because you don't want to break your glass where your wire was. And once you kind of get his head going forwards, you can just kind of squish it down. And you can see here, my wire kind of makes an S shape. And that's what gives him the ability to bobble his head. And the, the final thing we're going to do is to put him on a base. And I have a wood disc and there's a tiny hole that I drilled, which is just the size of this wire here. And I did trim my wire and I tested it to make sure that the wire didn't go all the way through. I don't want it to scratch my table if it's sitting on a table, but I do want it close enough that my glass is actually sitting on the wood. And it fits nicely, so the next thing I'm going to do is use a little bit of E6000. I'm going to put it on the bottom of the glass here, as well as on my wire. Stick it in the hole. And I'm going to let it dry, but you can see here, this is my final product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please share with your friends, like, and subscribe to my channel. I have many more ideas. Thanks for joining me. Bye.